Thanks, man. Get your ass home and get some rest. You're gonna need it. Hey, AJ. Welcome to the team. Appreciate that, man. You got it. Two, three to base. Need you to run Louisiana plates. Victor, two, seven, X-ray, three, three, two. Hey, stay right there. I said stay right there. Welcome back. Our top story continues to be the tragedy in Baton Rouge. With tens of thousands of people dead and the city still under quarantine, the country searches for answers. Mistakes were made. Lives unnecessarily lost. The Vice President's Secret Service security detail is at the highest alert. Grizzly homicides on the other side of town or another bullshit campaign presser. Which one sounds like a story? Bella, hey, this is our assignment, okay? So we stay here. The vice president never takes my questions anyway. So then come on, I'm tired of this. It's right to the front. <laughs> yeah, well, I think we're close enough. Okay. Back it up, Dave. Okay. They're coming, you rolling? Yeah, I'm rolling. Come on. Good afternoon, folks. Sorry for the slight delay. The vice president will say a few short words, then open it up to questions. Thank you. Good afternoon. It's good to be back in Baton Rouge, the state capital of Louisiana. Sort of a homecoming for some of us. This state has been through a great deal of adversity, yet it's come out stronger than ever. This region is a model for this administration's efforts to get people back to work and rejoin this country's dwindling middle class. And the Cajun food's not bad either. <laughs> now, I know you didn't come here to listen to me talk about gumbo, so I'll take a few questions. Mr. Vice President, 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 how do you feel the impact of fracking affects our community? and the safety of our sensitive coastal environment here in Louisiana. This video is for my son. Name TBD, I'm leaning towards Chuck Norris Prescott, who is currently brewing in that beautiful belly. 
so that one day when I'm old and fat, I can prove that I locked down a woman, a beautiful woman. And you better listen to what she says. <laughs> what the hell, AJ? What? Posting this to the web. I'm gonna make a ton of money. That's not funny. Well? <clears throat> Rough night? Well, I don't speak polar bear. Just so damn tired. Come on. We only get this limited time together. And I'm fresh as a daisy. And as pretty as one. It's just been really rough. Are they good guys? Yeah, you know, beneath the roasting, they seem like good dudes. No. I mean, are they good guys? Good seals? Are they gonna keep you safe? Keep you alive? This is the seal team people know about. They're the best. Mr. Suspect moving. Nine o'clock. Take a look, Hayden. comment on recent job numbers and the accusations that your administration skewed numbers ahead of an election year with you being a front runner. Well, firstly, it's nice to be called the front runner. Secondly, we have no control over those numbers. That's just another attempt to discredit this administration's hard work and dedication to the American worker. Thank you for joining uh, the Mr. press Vice conference. President. That's all we have today. And God bless America. Let's go have some lunch. Yes, we got nothing. Come on. Obviously, I'm not blonde enough. Or your boobs are not big enough. I think they're... Mr. Vice President, I'd like you to have this little uh, token of appreciation from the people of Louisiana. You ever have a bad tie day? Often. Ah, oh, thank you. Ah, oh, the Brown Pelican State Burger. Governor Tateman, don't be like Huey Long. Remember the duck. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. No! No! Hey! Please, no! Get it down, down, down! Back inside! Go down! Office press guide. Monster to base. We got a mission briefing. Yes, sir. Right away. What's that? They're calling us in. Gotta go. Well, what is it? They didn't say. When are you gonna be back? I don't know. Yeah, sure, it's nothing major. I'll call you when I know. Okay. Love you. Love you.
Okay, gentlemen, listen up. There's an event unfolding in the city of Baton Rouge. The vice president is in the city on a campaign stop. A distress call went out to a Secret Service detail. An FBI hostage rescue was deployed. Then they went dark. Baton Rouge police are offline. We've had intermittent contact with the Secret Service. We believe they're being hauled up the state capitol building. The FAA has imposed a no-fly zone over the city. Only military and law enforcement. We can't rule out the possibility that there was an attack of some sort. The president wants our best assets on the ground and has given us a green light to get them out. To give you an idea of the potential scope of what's going on, this was posted a half hour ago. Some stunning images coming in from Baton Rouge. This footage was just posted by news blogger Amanda Banning, who was on the scene covering a press conference by Vice President Bentley when violence broke out. Violent rioting has just broken out in Baton Rouge. People are being attacked in the streets. There is no apparent motive. There is zero police presence. The Vice President is currently... Oh my God, we need to move. Gentlemen, this is a real potential shitstorm, and you will be dropping into the eye of it. Lieutenant Cunningham will brief you on your mission plan. Good luck. All right, boys, listen up. Code name for the vice president is Elvis. Last known location of Elvis was here, Graceland. We're to jump in, secure Elvis, and helo out of the city as quickly as possible. There's a high school football field, a half a click to the east. That's where we'll jump in. If we're on the go, we should reach the target in less than six minutes. Sorry, do you know if the package is still there? We have no contact with the Secret Service. Fantastic. In addition, we will be broadcasting live. Intel boys want to figure out what's going on down there, so we're going to do our best to facilitate them. What's our rules of engagement? Still waiting for clarification on that. Obviously, this is American soil. These are American citizens. But you are to do whatever you need to do to secure the vice president. Any questions? All right. Breaking news out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Police are investigating a string of gruesome murders which are believed to be connected to the slaying of a Baton Rouge police officer last night. Police have released dash cam footage in hopes someone will recognize the perpetrators. We warn you, the images are disturbing. Stay where you are! Freeze! at the moment. The Vice President's Secret Service security detail is at the highest alert during his visit at Louisiana State Capitol. Everything okay? Everything's fine. We're getting called out. Does this have anything to do with what's going on in Baton Rouge? I can't say. I love you. I'll call you as soon as I get back, okay? Okay, baby. Please be careful. I always am. Let's go. We're rolling. Gotta go, babe. Love you. Love you too. Prosperity initiative, not to mention teasing a potential run for the White House himself. Okay, boys, listen up. Man wants a small footprint. So, no heavy weapons, no grenades. Understood? Yes, sir. Uh... How you doing, AJ? I'm ready, LT. All right. Just remember your train. You'll be fine. Roger that. You guys don't fuck this up. I'm buying tonight. New guys should be buying. Yeah. New guys buying. Yeah. Got that? Calm check in 10. Yeah, yeah. Roger that. All right, boys. Make a fucking problem. Let's go. Take calm check.
That's right there to JSOC. This is Agent Thomas. I need to speak with Commander Shear. This is an emergency. What's your status? I know. I think this is happening. Stay locked down. I'm bringing in the best team. Cameras are up. Some interference, but signal is good. Copy, check with 01. AJ on me, Carl as well. Chief, Billy, Fifth Security. Roger that.
This is Lieutenant Pete Cunningham. We're a rescue unit. Open up. Where's the helicopter? Where's the helicopter? Where? Where's the helicopter? You guys gonna get us out, right? Where? Where? Elvis is in the building. Mr. Vice President, good afternoon. We're here to get you out. Thank you. You are a sight for sore eyes, sir. Elvis is secure. I'm sending up AJ. Chief! Secure the perimeter in the LZ. Billy, get down here. Copy check with 01. You okay? Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. I will leave you here. Is everyone okay? Coming in. What do we got? Go take a look at the vice president. Hey, sir. How you doing? Smile. Jekyll Actual, this is Jekyll Zero One. Copy? No. Hello, Uzi. Yeah? Copy, Jekyll Zero One. Go ahead. Elvis is secure, ready for extract. Copy, Jekyll Zero One. Sam Ann's in room. ETA 12 minutes. Copy that. Jekyll One out. In the storage room. All right. He's good to go, LT. What the hell happened here? Where's the rest of your detail? Dead. They're all dead. I'm gonna take a look. You did great. Good job. So I got it from here. They attacked us. Who attacked you? Your faces were all twisted. Still. He's hold still. It's all right. It's all right. Has he been giving you anything? There's nothing to give. Agent. Hey. We kept shooting them. They wouldn't go down. They were like monsters, man. This guy needs a hospital. Hey, LT. Watch your Okay. We're gonna get this guy some help. But what I need you to do is go in the other room and get ready to move. Agent. We kept shooting at him, man. But they wouldn't go down, none of them. They just kept coming and coming, just shooting. They were monsters. Hey, hey, hey. They were monsters, man. All of them were monsters. Your boss is alive, okay? You did your job. South entrance is clear. North is clear, heading east. All right, chopper's en route. Six minutes, be ready to move. Something big is going on here. Show them the footage, Look, look. This is what attacked us. Yeah. They have to be sick, right? Yeah, man. Look, they were like, like, rabid dogs. And then, I mean, what do you think would make them do this? I mean, do you see the way they look? Relax, buddy. <laughs> and then look at this. You see that? <laughs> I know this sounds crazy, but I think once look. someone is bitten, they turn into one of them. Oh, whoa, whoa, easy, easy, easy. Back down. I could use a hand in here! On my way. Get him off me! Get him off me! <laughs> oh my god, what's going on? Turn. I told all of them. You have to shoot him in the head, man. That's the only way to be sure. No, this is it, man. This is it. This is the end. Calm down. Calm down. Don't panic. Relax. Are you okay? Fine. I'm just overwhelmed, I guess. I'm gonna go put some water on my face. Okay. Jekyll One. This is Jekyll Axel. Copy, Jekyll Zero One. Now, where's that damn bird? Six minutes to extraction point, sir. Let me talk to Commander Shear. Go ahead, Pete. Sir, I don't know if you're seeing this, but... This isn't right. This is not a riot. Just get the VP on the bird and get the hell out of there. Yes, sir. Not now. Yes, now. 
This isn't some riot. This is a biological attack, and I may have a way to stop it. What are you talking about? A biological agent that's meant to take down a superpower. You can't deny what you're seeing here. Okay, go on. First of all, you cannot let anyone who's been bitten on that flight. They most likely have already been infected. Secondly, I have a high-value asset in the city that needs an evac with her staff. And your men are the only ones in position who can do that. The key to stopping this from spreading may be with them. Trust your eyes, Commander. Have you ever seen anything like this? Pete. Go ahead, sir. New orders coming in. I need you and your boys to stay on the ground a little longer. I have a second extract in the works. Get the package on the bird, and we'll forward you details. Pete. Thirty of those people have been bitten. Stay on the ground. That's an order. Yes, sir. This may be some biological agent. No one that's been bitten gets out of the city. No exceptions. Copy that. Check the one out. All right, be ready to move. We're being retasked. Looks like we're getting out of this city just in time. Mr. Vice President, I need to get you and your staff on the roof and ready for evac. One last thing. Has anyone been bitten? No. I'm gonna get you out of here, sir. Let's get you home. There's some action out on the street. A couple civilians in distress. Permission to intervene? Hey, do not give up our position. Do not jeopardize the mission. These are definitely bad guys, LT. I got a clear shot. Stand down. We really gonna let these people die, LT? Stand down, damn it. Dear God, tell Sam then to hurry his ass up. Yes, sir. What the hell is going on, Lieutenant? Why are civilians hunting people in the streets of goddamn Baton Rouge? You gonna tell us what's going on here or what, Chief? You need to let me know what you got, what my boys are up against. We believe it to be a biological agent. A few years ago, we picked up some chatter about a virus that could potentially weaponize a human. Make an army out of, for lack of a better word, zombies. To tear society apart from the inside. And we have some heavily classified labs. One in particular, which has been researching this biology, is in Baton Rouge. Shit. But these are some of the best experts in this field, and their research could be key to counter this virus. Well, hopefully we're not too late. And there's one other thing. Once this was on our radar, the DOD's U.S. Strategic Command authored CONOP 8888, a response study outlining how we would react to such an attack. Nothing was ever formally implemented, but right now, it's being pitched to the president. The real reason the VP was in Baton Rouge. The speech at the state capitol was just a cover. The president. And? The first step is containment, by any means necessary. It's only a matter of time before everyone's infected. Luckily, the city is isolated, which could be our saving grace. But no one goes in or out. No one.
Activate all military resources statewide. Lock off all access in and out of Baton Rouge. This is code red. Move! Move! Smoke out! I think we should stay. Are you out of your mind? It's a story of a lifetime. It's our job to cover it. I don't know, Amanda. Why push it? You can go if you want. Just leave me the camera. Okay. Fine. I'll stay. Okay, when Chopper arrives, we'll be escorting you in a single file line. We're staying. Ma'am, I highly recommend You can't force us to go. It's free country, but just know, there is no more help coming. Incoming, southeast side. Stop where you are! I said stop! LP, what's your order? Permission to fire! I said stop! Travis! Shit, chief! Chief Travis! Oh shit! 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 Hang in there, Chief. Somebody talk to me. Who's got eyes? Billy, get your ass down here! Hang in there, brother. Billy's on his way. Billy! What do we got? What do we got? Shit! What the fuck, Billy? <laughs> Whiskey. Yeah. Hey. Hey, come on, Travis. Chief. Travis, hold that. Shit. Shit. Come on, Chief. Come on, Chief. Stay with me, Travis. Travis? Stay with me, bro. Stay with me, Travis. Come on, man! All stations this net. Jekyll 2 is expired. Repeat. Jekyll 2 is expired. Damn it!
his teeth! Watch his teeth! Bloody FBI rescue team! Watch his mouth! Watch his teeth! Someone give me a sidearm! Clear! Track it to the helo. Must be. Oh no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shit. Jekyll Actual, this is Jekyll 01. Sandman is down, I repeat. Sandman is down. We need to look for survivors. No, we need to get our asset while there's still time. That's the damn vice president out there. If there's a chance he's alive, we better make sure. My boys will get to the crash site. There isn't any time. Imagine if this spreads to the rest of the country. These may be the only people in the world who can stop that from happening. I need surveillance over the city of Baton Rouge immediately. What are you doing, Sheriff? It's vital we have overhead feet of the city, and it's imperative that we don't lose contact with our men on the ground. We need to see the crash site and get eyes on the situation. Sandman, do you copy? This is base, over. I repeat, do you copy, Sandman? Jekyll One, this is Jekyll Actual. What are our orders? Continue to secondary target. CIA thinks this is a deliberate attack. Biological warfare. There's a classified government lab about a mile south of your position. It's the tallest building in that direction. You should be able to see it from your position. On the eighth floor is a CIA black lab. The scientists on that floor are vital to stopping the outbreak. I need you to get in there, get them out quickly. We don't have a lot of time. I've got a bird on standby, stationed just outside the city. Now, once they give the orders for complete lockoff, you will be trapped. Copy that. 
Okay, we have a secondary target. It's that building straight ahead. CIA has scientists there that need rescuing. We might be able to stop this thing. We also have a new ROE. Anyone who looks like a threat, anyone who looks infected, you shoot to kill. Headshots, make them count. I don't know, LT. You saw how fast they move. We get caught in the open. Yeah, this mission's straight fucked. No reinforcements? You guys lock it the fuck up. We are on our own in hostile territory. This is nothing new. You good? Yes, sir. What about them? How you guys doing? Okay, we're gonna make a quick stop, then we're gonna get home safe. AJ! Keep an eye on them, okay? You do what AJ says, you'll be just fine. Stay close, stay quiet. Okay, boys. Move out. Got an alley. It looks clear, but it's sketchy as hell. The alternate's not too pretty. Take the alley. Roger that. Moving. The mission comes first. Don't leave a man behind. He knows where the extract point is. If he's alive, he'll get there. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Fuck. We got our fucking orders. Oh, Don't you even move. Easy, man. Put the gun down. We're not going to hurt you. How do I know you're not one of them? With good guys. Look. I don't know who you are. I don't know what's going on, 
An hour ago, I watched a cop kill a 10-year-old girl on my front lawn. All I know is you're on my property, and I have every right to shoot you dead. Right here and now. Nobody's shooting anybody, you hear me? We're just passing through. You can come with us. How do I know you're not one of them? The crazy people out there. How do I know you're not one of them? You murderers out there. How do I know? Y'all did murderers. This is my hideout. Alrighty then, well, we'll just be on our way then. No, 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 Jay, Jay, do something! You hear that? Huh? You're gonna bust right through here and rip us apart. Is that what you want? Getting out of here. You got that? had your chance. That chopper airborne. Jekyll Actual, this is Jekyll One. We are at the target building. What is the status of the chopper? Fuck. Stairwell. We've got a blood trail here. May look like we have some company. All the red big road. Hey man, don't shoot. Don't shoot, okay? But it's pink out. All right. Look. Oh, wait. Damn, you guys are Navy SEALs. Captain Phillips, Bin Laden. I mean, I am a big fan. My name's Larry. 
You know, I, I tried to sign up to be one of you guys when I was younger, but my weight was a problem. You don't say. Vivitech Lab, where is it? Oh, yeah, sure thing. All right, this way. Come on back. Hey, it's safe. Hey, just wait. Oh, man. You guys. Well, I tell you, how'd you get caught up in this mess anyways? Eighth floor, right? Yeah. Place is crawling with them. They busted in a few hours ago. Now, these security offices, they're sealed off. There's no infected inside there. That's what those things are, right? Infected people. All right. Well, now this place is it's wired for video, so I, I can show you where you need to go. See, why do you want to go there anyway? Don't fucking worry about it. It's classified. It's classified. Not fucking worried about it. You got it. Hey, can I catch a ride out of here with you guys? Yeah, you guys, where we need to go, I'll make that happen. Okay. Now, the monitor's down by the lab. I don't have access to them. They're pretty strict about their privacy. But this stairwell right here, that'll let you out closest to the lab. Yeah, you got anything quieter? Um, well, the east stairwell, but that lets you out on the other side of the building. It's all right. It's better than being caught in close quarters along those things. You guys ready to move? Sure. Do it. After you. We got your back. Well, in case I die, my mom's name is Mary and my name's Larry. tight on my back, okay? Keep up the pace. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay. All right, happy feet. takes one of them to see us. What are we going to do now? I'm going to wait for a safe opportunity to move out. What if there isn't one? I'm going to send you out there and see how long you last. This isn't funny. Why can't you just shoot past these assholes? Bad tactics. I only have so many bullets. We fight smart, we live. Two then zip it, all right? Dude, a typical American military. Jesus. What are you even doing? Shouldn't you be at a coffee shop? Sipping on lattes, taking Michael, selfies? Stop. 
He's keeping our asses alive. And he risked his life by staying with me to cover this story. The world needs to see what happened out here. And you know what? What's in this camera is priceless. You got a family? Well, I don't, but I want one one day. I've got parents and a dog that will be very heartbroken if I don't make it home. I'm married. Emily, we have a son on the way. And she's going to be very pissed if I end up walking carcass in Louisiana. I'll get us home. She's one of them. No, no, sweetie, sweetie, stay right there. Look, I'll put my guns down, okay? We're not gonna hurt you. What, what are you doing? I mean, you lost your mind. We have to make a number. Dude, it hurts for us. What are you doing? Get back, what are you doing? Get back, baby. Get back, baby. Get back, baby. Get back, baby. What can I, what can I do? Firearm. Okay. Right, watch your mouth, watch your mouth. Firearms. Oh, my God. What? Here, get away. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I'm Nope, nope. Come on, Come on, All right, Dave, move. We're tying him. Move up, Dave. says he was separated from the team that's en route to a secondary target. Tell him to hurry his ass up. They're shutting down the airspace now and setting perimeters around the city. They keep trying to raise the team. Roger that. We're on our way. Copy that. Over. Let's go. 
like a stand kick or something. Just keep scratching yourself. I'm Gotta get to the extraction.
much longer. Two minutes. Son of a bitch, there's our vanilla. Guys, we got a visual on AJ. He's in the parking lot. Oh, thank God. Let's go get him. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got a mission to complete. We gotta get her back to base. And you are my medic. Guys, I'll get AJ. We'll hold the chopper for you. Ready? Let's go. Sir, we're being ordered to evacuate the airspace. We can't hold them on station any longer. Sight sore eyes. Don't be a sissy. Check Jekyll Zero One. Great to hear you, Jekyll Zero One. They were about to leave you high and dry. We have the lab team secure. I have two men still in the building. You don't have time, Pete. We got in a little bit of trouble. Okay, look, we gotta go. Tell me where he is, I'll go down. I don't have him. What? I don't have him. Hey. Yo, Ready to get into the bad. Help. 
Everybody get on the chopper. Let's move. I know it was a pain in the ass growing up. But you guys, uh, you guys took me in. Gave me a chance when nobody else did. You two ready to go. You don't feel bad for me. It's actually a hell of a way of going out. And for all the men, uh, I've had a pleasure to serve with. Boys, it's been a hell of a ride. You too, AJ, go. I can't. What? I can't. What? I've been bit. LT, I've been bit. Get on that fucking chopper before I kick your fucking ass. No, we have our orders. I'm not gonna jeopardize anyone else. AJ says he ain't coming with it, so he's been bit. What are we gonna do? I guess we're staying. No, fuck! Get on the chopper! I can't go! I've been bit! Look, we already lost Chief and Carl. I'm not losing another guy. And I'm not leaving you behind again. Listen to me. Billy will keep an eye on you. If you start to change, you will do what needs to be done. But if those scientists have a cure, you're first in line. Now let's go home. Welcome back. It's 10 a.m. and our top story continues to be the tragedy in Baton Rouge with tens of thousands of people dead and the city still under quarantine. The country searches for answers. I'd like to thank my fellow senators for their participation in this bipartisan congressional investigation. This classified hearing is now in session. Our witness this morning, Agent Stacy Thomas, Central Intelligence Agency, well, hopefully shed light on our government's response to this tragic incident. Our next guest is the heroic reporter who remained on the front lines while the city was under siege to bring us firsthand accounts of the deadly attacks. Please join me in welcoming Amanda Banning. I remind you that you are under oath, Ms. Thomas. The heroes were those that went into that horrible situation by choice. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for them. I'm happy to answer any and all questions regarding the outbreak and to acknowledge the brave men and women who risked and sacrificed their lives. I regret that Petty Officer McKnight never knew that he had saved us. How do you mean? He knew that AJ couldn't make it to the roof alone. I can sincerely tell you that these SEALs are the bravest people I have ever met. At no point did they even humor the idea of giving up. So he stayed behind. 
Then they did what they had to. They left McKnight for dead in order to complete the mission. They risked and unfortunately some gave their lives to save others. There's nothing more noble than that. Only it wasn't what the scientists had that had the answers, it was AJ. When one of the wounded seals returned without contracting the virus. AJ. When he didn't turn, we knew we had someone immune. Turns out they all were. How were they immune, Miss Thomas? All five had had full-scale, intense seven-series shots. Sir, some type of chemical change happens in reaction to the virus. So yes, they discovered the cause, but not the source. The seven-series shots changes the molecular structure of the protocol. We don't know how or what changes it yet. My sources in the intelligence community seem pretty certain that without a patient zero or any evidence pointing to a specific group, the worry is, of course, it could happen again. How about you? Hello, man. How you been? How would you rate our response to this disaster? As with any new threat, mistakes were made. Lives unnecessarily lost. But the human race survives. What do you say, Carl? Mm. The question is, how will we do next time? It's good to be home, babe. I missed you.